To be a, a foster parent for children uh, with complex medical needs requires you to be fully present, to want to integrate that child into your home and into your family while they're with you, to want to support the family of that child. It's vital for that child to be able to have um, that connection with their family. One of the things that's important to know about being a foster parent is that we work in partnership with the Department of Children and Families to really help kids to get back home. So it's always our goal to have kids come into care for the shortest period of time while the families get what they need to uh, receive their children back. It is critical for children to be able to grow up in a family environment, in a home environment due to the fact that the alternative is a, a clinical environment. And we have seen the results of that. Um, we see them struggle with social emotional issues. And really the only way for them to have that support is to be in a family environment. Working with medically complex children can be challenging, but it's also rewarding. And it's learning how to read them that is the most important thing with these kids. These kids are just like any other kids. They just have medical issues. It's just amazing that these kids are so resilient and so tough, and it just warms your heart working with them. The Village provides really intensive support services to families who are willing to support some of Connecticut's most vulnerable children. We offer training both before you become licensed and then throughout the time that you are licensed. We have support workers who develop really good close relationships with families and providers. Now more than ever, families are struggling and uh, so are kids. And so what we need most are our families willing to be open to learn more, open to developing partnerships with us, and open to taking a chance on a kid.